Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. This is the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's Climate Extremes Index. It shows that there's been a large increase in much above normal summer afternoon temperatures in the United States over the last 30 years. According to their chart, the past decade has had the hottest summer afternoon temperatures in U.S. history. But their own National Center for Environmental Information shows a completely different story. It shows that for the contiguous United States, the number of days above 95 degrees Fahrenheit or 35 degrees Celsius has plummeted over the last 90 years and is currently near record lows. This is the exact opposite trend of what their own Climate Extremes Index shows. My Unhiding the Decline software, which I've released to the public, shows almost exactly the same thing as the NOAA graph on the right. Hot summer days peaked in 1936 and have plummeted over the last 90 years. And not only has the frequency of hot days plummeted in the United States over the last 90 years, but also the percentage of the country which reaches 95 degrees sometime during the summer has also declined to near record lows. In 1931, 93% of U.S. stations reached 95 degrees Fahrenheit sometime during the summer. But in recent years, that's been closer to 65 or 70%. And the National Climate Assessment also shows that heat waves in the United States were much worse prior to 60 years ago. So how did NOAA create this fake climate extremes index, which shows hot summer afternoons in the United States greatly increasing? The answer to that question is very simple. They tamper with the data. They cool the past and warm the present to turn a cooling trend into a warming trend. NOAA's own graph shows that the frequency of hot afternoons has plummeted over the last 90 years. But that doesn't seem to bother the people at the Climate Extremes Index, who are perfectly happy to just make up data. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on these scamsters for the past 14 years. You can visit him, Kyrie, Caesar, Toki, and Upla on the web at realclimatescience.com.